Hello lovely people. Thanks for joining me again. Um, today we're going to go through a beginner's quite quick yoga workout. All right. So um, hopefully you've already done the beginner's foundations in which I run through a few of the basic moves um, just to get you acquainted with um, alignment, with the idea of using your tummy all the time. So you want to always be conscious that your tummy's squeezing in and lifting up so that you're supporting your lower back and you're not going to hurt yourself. Okay. Um, the other thing that I mentioned in the foundations is that yoga isn't about <laughs> you know, getting your knees behind your head or anything like that. Um, it is about accepting your body where it is, of treating it gently, um, and growing from there rather than getting discouraged because you can't do splits straight away. I've been practicing yoga for about more years than, than I want to really think about, at least 15, uh, and I, don't, I can't do splits. I'm nowhere near. I am not super flexible, so I'm with you on that one, okay? Um, but I do love it. Um, I am not given to using Sanskrit words or particularly on the, being particularly on the spiritual side of yoga. So if that is more of your thing, you may not enjoy my yoga sessions quite so much. If, on the other hand, um, that's what kind of puts you off yoga, as I know it does a lot of people, then hopefully you're going to really enjoy these. All right. I will, as we go along, I probably will do a couple more meditation ones because yoga is absolutely fantastic for your mental state, for helping you focus, for helping you relax. Um, but I won't really be doing lots of inner eye and chakra and that sort of thing because that's fine, but it's kind of other people's stuff rather than me. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is designed as a quick first thing in the morning uh, or when you've just got a little bit of time when you get home or just a really nice pick-me-up even if you can just quickly throw your clothes on in the middle of the day and go right I'm just going to do a little bit of yoga all right so we're going to start at the top of our mat so big toes are together heels are slightly apart rolling your shoulders back and down and opening up your arms and I'm just going to face you for this first bit and you can close your eyes if you want which allows you to focus a little bit more. And you can rock back and forth on your, on your feet, toes to heels, maybe side to side. And you can even give your whole body a bit of movement. It's nice not to be too stiff in yoga. It's easy to get too focused on holding poses and resisting. So it's nice to relax into it a bit. So let your body that little bit of movement. You can roll your shoulders a bit. You can roll them in the opposite direction. Tummy's nice and tight still. And that bit we want to keep hold of. And you can shake yourself out. Maybe roll your neck a couple of times, roll it the other way. Ooh, all sorts of noises in there today. <laughs> okay, and from here we're going to roll our shoulders back and down, open the palms of our hands forward, lift through our tummy, and we're going to inhale. And really stretch away. And you can give yourself a little wriggle here as well. We'll exhale. Let your head drop. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Anytime you want to take a break, anytime you want to stick with just doing one move, do it. I'm not there shouting at you to keep going, keep moving, keep pushing. This is not a shouty place. And then they shout at the cat if she keeps wanting to go in and out all the time. It's raining outside and she's still convinced it's a good place to be. Inhale. Really reach away. Last little stretch up. We're going to poke our bum back. A little bend in the knees. And we're going to exhale, reaching forward. And with a nice flat back and tight tummy, we're going to bring our hands to our knees. Elbows are tucked in. We're going to inhale, we're going to arch our back, really exaggerate that dip. And we're going to exhale and go in the opposite direction. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, bend. And then 
inhale, flatten the back. Nice tight tummy, still reach all the way up. And you can squeeze your bum here a little bit. Always good to get some bum exercises when you can. Exhale, we're going to come further down this time. You might find your hands get your shins, your, your thighs, your chest, no thighs, or to the floor. Tummy tight, inhale. And here we go again, exhaling all the way down, tight tummy all the way, inhale. And for you, this might look like an up, and down, and that works perfectly well. You're still using your tummy, you're still lifting, you're still using your body, and that's all we're going for here. We're not all alike. We do not all have the same level of flexibility or strength. And from here we're going to inhale. And your hands could be here, your hands could be here. We're looking forwards. And from here we're going to walk our feet back. And you might want to bring them down to the floor. Or you might be happy pushing straight back into downward facing dog. Now this can be quite tough on the shoulders. So if it is, and any time that you need a break, this is where you're going to extend a child. Okay. Otherwise, we're here, downward facing dog. We're going to walk our legs. And the whole time our tummy's squeezing up and back. And we're walking. Don't worry if you're, if you're more up here. That will come in time. That's just tightness through the hamstrings and into the lower back. And then we'll stretch back. Remembering taking that break and extended child anytime you need to. And then we take our right leg forward. And you might need to pop a knee down to do this. You might need to help it through with your hand. Whatever works for you. We're going to go to high lunge. So from here, tummy's nice and tight. Climb up. And up. We're just doing a nice lunge here. Now because I'm incapable of doing a proper yoga workout, keep our, our knee behind our toes, making sure that heel's pointing directly up behind us, we're not twisted. We're going to dip five times. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and hold. And again, this may look very different for you. You might be here. That's absolutely fine. Just doing what works for you. you should get a nice stretch in here. We're going to turn to the middle. We're going to open into our warrior two. So that front leg, that right leg is still facing directly forward. Back foot is pointing more towards you or you're pointing towards me. Slightly at an angle. Arms get tight, bring them to prayer. Holding here. And then we do a little back, a little forwards. And you can have a chair in front of you. It just gives you something to grab hold of if you need to for balance. And that's three. Just stretching. And you can move with your breathing. Again, we don't want to be too stiff. And let's come to the centre again. We're going to worry too. Those legs should be feeling it by now. And let's come to the middle. So both feet are going to face forward this time, facing towards me. Lift, inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Make sure you're lifting the kneecaps so they're not locking out. Then forward bend. And again, for you, this could be here, you could have a real bend in your knees, whatever works for you. And then we'll come back up again, nice tight tummy. We're going to go out in the opposite direction. So now the left leg's pointing directly along your mat. 
right leg's about 45 degrees, foot even, <laughs> and that we go, holding here. Again, you might be up here, the legs might be a lot closer together, whatever you need to do, just try and get a little bend there, try and get that leg working. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to lose your balance. Now let's do a few reverse warriors. Just side angle. Reverse. And you can make this lovely flowing motion as well. That's three. Really feel stretch along your body. And one more each way. Back and forward. And we'll return to Warrior Two. Then we'll bring our hands to prayer. We're going to turn that back foot up and face towards the left. So now we've got high lunge. On the opposite side. And again you might be here, whatever works for you, you might need a bit of balance to help you. And let's take that back knee directly towards the ground so we're not going forwards, straight down. One, two, three, four, five, hold there. And then we're going to come down to the floor. So you might want to bring your back knee down first. Otherwise, hands are coming down. So that back knee might be down. You might step back like that. Or you might be able to stay on your feet the whole way. We're back to downward facing dog. Resting and extend the child when you need to. Squeezing the tummy up towards the spine. And then we're going to bring our knees down. And we're all going to go to extend the child. back towards us. We're going to arch. And then we're going to sit down. Okay, and we are actually almost finished. So if you want to, you could pause the video and you could run through the, that sequence again, the two standing sequences, the Warrior 1, High Lunge Warrior, so High Lunge Warrior 2, the forward bend and the same out to the other side or otherwise if you're done just meeting in the middle we're going to have a couple of stretches and we're going to turn raise the crown of the head squeeze the tummy Cross to the other side, squeeze, come to the centre, walk your hands forward, really stretch, keep your sitting bones down, but really stretch your chest forward, feel a lovely extension along your back as you do that. Walking your hands back towards you, extending your legs in front of you, give them a little shake. Toes come back towards you. And here's where you see how very unflexy I am, because that's about me with a nice straight back. Just about touch them on a good day. 
And just feeling that stretch along your hamstrings, stretch at your back. And you might find for you that that's actually plenty. That's such a lovely pose, this, because your legs are really strong and engaged, your back's really straight, your tummy's really strong, and you can hold here quite happily. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together. And then just press the knees down. Now, you might find that you're out here. That's absolutely fine as well. Tummy's tight, lifting the crown of your head. Extend the left leg out. Turn that right leg up. Twist. Swap sides. Twist. Apparently twist is not a word I can say normally. Twist. <laughs> One last shake out. And that's it for today. It's fantastic, guys. So come back to this whenever you want. Um, as you keep going through it, it'll become more fluid. The moves will become more natural. Um, and just remember to take breaks whenever you need to. Be gentle with yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Bye.